Welcome back everybody, some more Everybody's Golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to play Alpina Forest, the Outward 9. Um, and I'm trying to fill in the T and hole types that I haven't played. So this is Championship Tees, so the, the very far back ones. Um, and Mega Cups, which I haven't actually played. So Mega Cups gives you a bit of an advantage, but of course Championship Tees means length is everything. So we're going to give it a go. See how we get on. Uh, okay. So again, we're going to try and put a bit of spin on this. Got the ultra side spin. Great shot. See if we can just hook it round the corner. Give it a run at the green without landing in the bunker. We managed to hit the tree, but avoid the bunker. Okay. So 30 yard. on the 60 yard approach. What we're going to try and do is give it a run at the cup. So it's going to pitch right off the lie. The wind's going to bring it back to left and it's going to roll left. We're going to lose a little bit on the impact from the lie. So we want to pitch it and roll it. Champion! Ah, stop. A bit too much pace on the line, wasn't it? Oh, great play. That needed to hit the flag, really. Oh, that birdie. But we'll take the birdie if we can get it. So it's going to break right. So maybe two thirds of the cup the left. Right. Hit it firm. How's our luck? Oh, our luck's not great. Underread that. Pace was pretty good, but it's just not enough. Not enough borrow. So I'm going to start with a par. Even par. Pretty good. Ah, two parts, isn't it? Not a fan of the two part. If you get on the green, get it down. It's a par three. The ridiculous hole two, where you tee off over the green. Again, Ooh, I can just play my three iron here. Power shot three iron might be the shot here. Again, irons rather than woods, you'll get a you better stop the ball better than you would if you play a wood. But of course, it will go higher, so the wind will have more impact. Bravo! You get a higher trajectory. So how's that one looking? Let me look at grip. Oh, that's not bad. Go on. 13 foot away. It's quite a long, 270 is a long par 3. Lots of those championship cups. Okay, so let's learn the lesson the last time. So, same amount of break. Obviously, a slightly less break on the green. And we'll hit it firm. We'll be nearly under it again. But it's a birdie, and I'll take it. As you can see from the bottom of the scorecard, I've not played this particular combination of tees and holes before. Um, now, you can play up there for this one to kind of compensate for the altitude of it, which is what I might do. So effectively what I'm doing is, is hitting uphill earlier. I'm going to go over the trees, but of course it'll be a shorter iron shot, so I should be able to get up and over the trees rather than having to come round the corner. It's 100 yards to go. It's an approach wedge, so I've got plenty of altitude. But of course, means the wind's going to pick at it. Let's see what we can do. Ah, it turns out not enough altitude on the approach wedge. Ah, hit the tree. That's a mistake. Don't take your eye off the gauge. Yeah, thanks, Suzuki. Cheers. Okay. So, it's going to kick left. It's going to lose a fair bit because of the lie and the altitude. See if we can get it up and down, get it close, give us oh, some punch. Oh, good, good. That's not bad at all. So that's given us a seven Josh, foot putt a for a birdie. We have to go for the one putt. In she goes. Nice not the conventional yeah, route for the birdie. Nice birdie. There you go. Get in. Hold four. It's a hole four. It's a very downhill par four. Um, the skip is on for sure. Okay, it's played about there. Okay. I'm going to use the power shot. Bit of top spin. Oh, Nietzsche! May not even land in the water. May actually hit dry land. Yeah, bounced on. That line wasn't great, was it? That was the problem with that. Just gonna hold up in the fairway, rough edge bit. Now, 
really got to be careful with this one. I need to give it some some ping because I don't want to land in the sand. So let's hit it past the hole. Try and run it. Yeah. Ah, line. And stop. And over the other side, line was not great. And it was too hard. But again, probably should have played backspin there, really. Just try to backspin it in. But just didn't want to hit the front lip of that bunker. We'll chip it back and get it in. Still get the birdie. I think that first, that first chip was really wrong. I should have used backspin, really, on the first one. But hey, we got the birdie. So, another par four. <laughs> my my rabbit, rabbit suit colleague <laughs> hitting one down the middle. Um, now again, this is all about getting the right position. I almost want to lay up here, don't I? I think the wind will move it a little bit. Don't need to get super hard because it doesn't Master give you any voltage here. Oh, Lucky bounce. yeah, lucky bounce. So I've lost a bit of length there, so that's going to make this second shot a bit trickier. We've got a 150 to go. It's going to kick left and the wind's going to take it left. But it's the trusty 8 iron. So with a bit of luck, we can get it up and it should stop. A bit like that. Oh, it's run on a little bit. That's okay. It's a 12 foot putt. Now, we've been under borrowing these putts. So let's go maybe two and a bit cups. That's about two cups left. Let's see how we see how we fare. Gonna break back. Yeah, that's better. Much better read. Okay, another par four. It's a par four. Again, hitting hitting over the back of a green. Never laid the course out like that. Um, so into the wind a little bit. We want to keep right because it's going to roll down to the left anyway, naturally, from the from the slope of the fairway. We don't want to get into any trouble. Go! Yeah, good so we've got the top spin, the ultra top spin. Ah, just short of that little hillock there. So 186 to go. Now. It's going to kick way left because of the, the lie. The wind's going to bring it back. Okay. Slightly downhill. Let's get a bit of backspin on it. Oh, nice shot. Awesome. Get it up and stop it. Line looks good. What's the length like? Length's about right. Spin back a bit. Oh, great play. So, 11 foot. Okay. Let's go about three quarters. Let's go a cup left. Breaking Go to the right. Lift, hit it firm because it's going to slow down up the hill, which will tend to make it break more. There we go. That's another birdie. So we've got a three, four, five finish. seven. It's a par three. Okay. Now the pins on this are usually yeah. Look at that. It's a tricky little pin. Not a lot of room if you miss. And it's tucked in the front a little bit. So we're going to play this with a bit of backspin. So we're going to hit past and try and spin it back. It's not the ultra backspin. Master four. All about where it pitches. Oh, yeah. Into the heart of the green, really. And we did, we did overhit it, but again, you don't want to come up short there. You do not want to come up short. Right. What's the, what's the line here? Breaking to the left. It's almost there. I'm going to have to hit it firm. Let's try about there. Really difficult putt. Yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But again, with par threes, you miss the first shot. You know, leave yourself that. You end up two putting. Nice par. Oh, good. So that's broken our run of runner birdies. Hey ho. Oh, hey, it's a par four. So another par four. So uh, this is this 
anywhere left of about there, you're in the water. So if you're gonna get it up, you've gotta get it up. I'm gonna maybe play it there and, and hope it hope it grips. Oh neat shots! Yeah, I'd rather, to be honest, I'd rather miss right than than miss left. There. Look at the gauge closely. Well, yeah, that wasn't a great shot, was it? So it's going to kick right. It's uphill, so I'm going to take the approach off. Oh, we just need to rip this. Stay on. That's not bad, considering the lie I was in. It's a 10 foot. Got myself a 10 foot birdie pop, which I didn't think I was going to get. So let's go about two thirds of a cut. Hit it gently with a bit of luck, it'll just break. Yeah. Nice birdie. Phew. Excellent. Last one, Paul. Nice. It's a so, five. par five. <sighs> Again, there is a little kind of difficulty here that the, the fairways moving right to left so what I'm going to do is play there and play a bit of draw yeah. try oh, nice shot. draw it around the corner yeah see it straightens up a little bit even then uh, not quite enough still going off tide yeah that's disappointing Don't take your eye off the gauge. so 177 to go Oof. That water does not look enticing. Oh, okay, let's try and sort of pitch it there. We'll lose a bit. Yeah, could be in trouble. Could be in trouble. Oof. Yeah, water. water. Not enough. Just never, never enough power on that shot. Never enough power. Don't take your eye off the. So gauge. that was a mistake. Okay. Again, unpredictable with the lie we've got there. We've got the backspin on it though, so it should stop. There you go. It's a four and a half foot, but sadly for the park as we put it in the water. So, six under finish. We get our little bonus. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's there's nine, ten under par there for me. I think wasn't the best I've played, but I've set a score, and you can only improve once you've set a score. Yeah, people getting sixteen, seventeen. Uh, second on the daily rivals. Yeah, okay, makes sense. So I'm not. Yeah, four thousand, four thousand five hundred. That's six, eight. Yeah, not my, not my best score if we're honest. And stat twice. I don't think it's going to be anything to write home about, is it? Yeah, yeah. Missed a lot of fairways. But I get my lucky chance from it. And I get some hair. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And join me for some more Everybody's Golf.